Hi Tribe and welcome to another episode of COVID-19 Wellbeing Chats. So this one is on nutrition. So these are my five top tips for when you're stuck at home and most of you have started working this week from home and especially leading into the weekend that we can't have our usual social life. So what happens when people get bored, frustrated, angry, things are out of their control and they don't know what to do, sometimes they resort to food. And this video particularly is how to get you through this current climate and this current situation. It's not ideal, but there's nothing we can do to change it. So I'm going to share with you my top five tips and all these tips I've used with all my existing clients and it's to help them move past the emotional eating. First of all, before we get into the top tips, know what emotion you are trying to soothe. When you're sitting there with the cupboard doors open and you're looking up and down, there's an emotion there that you're trying to soothe. It might be boredom. Hey Jan, good to see you. It might be anxiety. There is some form of emotion that you're trying to soothe. And when you can identify what you're trying to soothe, then you can deal with it. So instead of eating your emotions, you're identifying them. And that's a big, big thing that I do with all my clients is get them to identify what emotions they're trying to soothe. Hey, Kimberly Murray, good to see you. You're my best travel agent. Uh, so, the, hi, Kimmy from Jan, thank you. I love to see you guys on board and I love to share this knowledge with you. So the first one I'm gonna suggest is keeping a meal time. And I do this with my clients on the weekend. I do this myself. So if you normally have breakfast at 7 a.m., have breakfast at 7 a.m. Or let's say, okay, you're working from home during the week and you don't have to travel that hour anymore. Push it back an hour. But we're going to keep the same meal times. Set, keep the same lunch times. Hey, Nat. Nat is the or, um, publisher for my new book that's coming out and hopefully we'll have it out on the 31st. So, hey, Nat, good to see you on board. So these meal times are really, really important. If you have lunch at 12 o'clock, continue to have lunch at 12 o'clock. What you're trying to do is create routine. As human beings, we love, love things that are familiar. And at the moment, everything's not familiar. Everything's out of the way and everything's unusual and just way out of our control. So I want you to keep routine. Routine instruction and structure is that familiarity that our bodies need, that our minds need. So that's number one. Tip number one is keep your meal times. The second one, especially coming into the weekend, is to pack a lunchbox. Because if you pack a lunchbox and only eat from what's in your lunchbox, then you're more inclined to stay on track. So just like you would the kids when they go off to school or say you were going off to work and you have a cute little esky that you take into work or one of those little cute cooler packs, pack that with your food and keep it in the fridge. Because that way in your mind you've got these parameters and these boundaries that that's the only place that I'm going to eat food from and it'll stop you grazing. And if you find yourself in the cupboard going, hmm, is this in my cooler bag? No, it's not. Get back to the cooler bag. And you can put some fun things in there. You might, my favorite is peanut butter and dates. And that's really random, I eat random foods. So that might be a nice little yummy treat that you have in there. Do include some different foods, interesting foods, but put it all in your snack bag and that way you know that's the only food that you're having. Then the next one is protein with every meal. It's really important that you do eat protein with every meal. That keeps you fuller for longer, but also it speeds up our metabolism by 3%. I know 3% is not much, but it's going to help you stay fuller for longer and you're not gonna graze on crappy food. Then the next one is have a distraction list. I did this when I was having really bad binging problems back in 2010. Inside my pantry was a distraction list of all the things that I could do. Uh, diamond painting, which is more nowadays, but walking my dog, listening to YouTube, calling a friend, all these things that I could do instead of eating food. So that's really important that you have that distraction list. And then know your reason why. Why is it that you want to get through all of this through COVID-19? It might be to wear a cute little bikini because hopefully by the summer we are free and we're actually outdoors. It might be to wear those cute little white shorts or it might be a beautiful dress at your gala dinner at the end of the year. Whatever it is, and vanity, yes, we can play into a bit of vanity. Or it might be to lead by example for your kids. That's also important to show them that we still need to keep healthy food, we need to keep our immune system up as opposed to just eating crap food. So just to recap those top tips, hey, 
Beck, another fellow author, great to see her on board. So we have keep your meal times, exactly the same as every other day. Pack your lunchbox, have some treats, have two pieces of fruit, healthy food, protein with every meal to keep you fuller for longer. Uh, have a distraction list inside your pantry. I know this works, I've done it myself because I used to be a binge eater. And then know your reason why. Have some sort of further down the path goal that we are looking forward to. Probably going to be December this year, might not be even this year, but have something that you want to look forward to and your reason why that you want to stay in shape and eat nutritious food during this time. I hope these videos are helping. I am going to put together a Skype session with my wellbeing worksheet that I did with my clients on Tuesday night in our normal Skype call. And I'm gonna put that out to the public because the feedback I got was really good. Like a few people jumped on and they were quite anxious before the call and then towards the end, they felt a lot calmer. And if we can keep our bodies as calm as possible, it means that our immune system is going to be in its best possible position. Obviously, we can't change things, but I also want to be able to help you and put you in the best possible position. So if you are interested in that Skype group session, so it'll be a group coaching session with me, and I am a life coach, I am a personal trainer, I am a nutrition coach. There's lots and lots of knowledge there that you can tap into and ask me questions during the Skype call. Please uh, send me a PM or go yes at the bottom of this video, and I'll be able to flick that to you once I've got everything written up and the details out there. It will probably be in about two weeks. Also, if you haven't purchased a copy of my book, Empowered Eating, Binge Free Forever, it's coming out on the 31st of December, uh, sorry, 31st of this month. Holy crap, December's on my mind. Uh, 31st of this month, get in contact and I can send you through the link to purchase that as well. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If there's any topics that you want me to talk about, please let me know and I can share as much knowledge as I can and help everybody get through my job is to turn up and serve and help you guys as much as possible and show that you that you can control the controllable. There's lots out of our control at the moment, but let's control the controllable. Take care, tribe, and I will talk to you on Monday.